everyone, it's Lynn again, and yes, I am here with the long-awaited bedroom transformation and tour. I am so excited because I haven't had the time to really put some TLC and love and decorate my apartment. I've done a little bit, but I've honestly been so busy this summer, and since my interior design style is very much maximalist, it's adding on things and finding little knickknacks as you go along, I am thrilled to finally share the journey and the vision and the execution with you today. And before we jump on into the makeover, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Sony Electronics. I am such a loyal Sony stan because I have been using the over-the-ear headphones from them for a while and they changed the game for me. Their audio and design quality are top-notch. So when they put me on the Link Buds S, I was like, yes! These are truly the best wireless earbuds. Really love the design and how compact it is. You can put it in your pocket, throw it in your bag, and then pop them out whenever you need them. These are so great, especially when you need to switch between between the noise canceling and the ambient sound. Sometimes you're studying and doing work in a cafe and you don't want to hear all the rustling and bustling, but when you're exercising, you want to be aware of your surroundings, so you just tap the side of the earbud and it switches between those modes so seamlessly. And when you use a noise canceling, you have six hours of battery life and 20 hours total with the case. And besides the crystal clear and high quality sound, I know a lot of y'all are college students or working adults. So some ways I've been using the Link Buds S is actually by practicing leisure and self-care. I love that the Link Buds S is always keeping you on and connected with people off and online. And it can also be used for productivity reasons but also just chilling out and relaxing. This is perfect for anyone who's on the go, who stays at home and works from home, who's a college student or working full time and has a busy schedule. I highly recommend these and you can definitely check it out by using the link in my description. Thank you so much, Sony, for sponsoring this video. I, I, I was honestly so flabbergasted when they reached out and said they wanted to work with me. It's such an honor. Without further ado, let's jump on in to the rest of the video. Wheel. Hello everyone, it's Voice Over Lynn again, and we're gonna go paint shopping because I need some green paint, and not just because I'm trying to be Dakota Johnson or because my favorite color is green. My favorite color is actually blue. However, with my current apartment, the sunlight doesn't reach my bedroom just the way townhouses and lofts are set up. The farther away you're from the front, you know, the less sunlight you get. So I really wanted to paint my walls green so I can emulate all those woodland cottage core vibes since I wouldn't be able to have plants. Here's some footage of me setting up my bed for the first time back in April when I had red hair. I was so excited to have a fool instead of a twin. Ah, it's so luxurious. Bed sheets, the mattress, mattress topper were all new, but my bed frame is secondhand. A lot of the furniture I have, as you'll see, is actually secondhand. I found it on Facebook Marketplace, Goodwill, or I already owned it. So I really tried to buy as little new things as possible. And after months of trying to find the time, I'm finally painting my walls and prepping the room. You know, it's about to get down when I'm putting the bangs up. All right, I don't know about y'all, but I didn't have my own permanent room until I was in seventh or eighth grade. So cherishing and cultivating a space is very important to me. Yeah, I admit it. I was that person who would randomly rearrange all their furniture at 2 a.m. in the morning. I was very excited to give the space to make over needed. <laughs> bye bye, white wall. Bye. white ikea shelves in our apartment complex's trash room because people will dump stuff when they can't get rid of it when they move out so i was like hey i'm totally gonna reinvent this and put some blue paint on so it matches my personality and add it to my room i did this while one wall of my room was drying and then after that i got some awesome peeling tape asmr Ooh, visually and so pleasing to look at except where i made mistakes but you know everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days after that i pushed back my bed frame put my mattress back on and then got ready for the other wall because yep we have more painting to do while i was painting i was keeping myself company by listening to music i've been listening to a lot of bts beat a doobie silk sonic but for some reason my spotify queued up really sad songs and then i really got into my feels <laughs> Get you out, make you leave. It's not the same anymore. 
Anyways, to raise my spirits, I started watching Queer Eye. First of all, Antony is so hot. And second of all, I'm trying to really channel that Bobby energy in this transformation today. I felt like the painting would never end, but surely we got there. Not perfect. Next order of business was to hang the floating shelf above my bed, which I promise I did secure properly, so it's not gonna fall on me when I'm sleeping. I promise, I promise. I always feel so powerful with the power tool in my hand. Like, girl, look at her. Wow, look at her go, yes. I hung up my cat's climbing shelves where she can sit high and mighty and exert dominance on us mere mortals. Then I finished up the day by hanging up a mirror. Y'all know that sound on TikTok where it's like 30,000? That's exactly how I feel about buying frames for my artwork. So I decided to go get them secondhand and luckily Goodwill had a really good selection. I also got some really good deals on other items like a trinket dish that's in a leaf shape for a dollar, this wood slab, and this really cute but kind of dinged up jewelry holder. I found these paper lantern mushrooms and yes, I hung them up because I'm trying to heal my inner child. For the more mature display of decor, I guess you can say, I've always wanted to have a framed gallery wall, but once again, frames are expensive, art is expensive, but I managed to find a bunch of frames that fit the prints I have and it ended up looking so sexy. I mean, I love the way it came together and there's still room for more to add in later. Pulled out my adulting Dyson, vacuumed up the dust, and then I started decorating with my nerdy shit. Okay, following the mushroom theme, I got this mushroom ambient light, and I also got this mushroom figurine from a gotcha box, and I decorated with a bunch of other little trinkets. A reoccurring theme on my channel is that I collect little hunks of vinyl and plastic that cost way too much money and are very much too geeky. Now I'm gonna style this beautiful mid-century dresser I found on Facebook Marketplace. I'm using command strips to hang up various postcards, pieces of artwork, stamps, tags, and then I'm placing more of my little trinkets <laughs> onto the shelf and top of the dresser so it feels lived in more love. This little mini frame is perfect for an Instax film, so there's me and my best friend Jen. Of course, we're gonna rep my own merch. It's okay to not be an okay poster, and then we're gonna really cover the ceilings and vines. A lot of vines. You think you have enough vines? No, add more. Is this gonna be a hard ass time to vacuum? Yes, it's gonna be. But does it look amazing? Does it make me feel like I live in a little forest with a bunch of fairies and woodland animals? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I highly recommend trying out new ways to drape your vines versus just letting them hang out on the wall. And in terms of trying new things, I wanted to put some fake stained glass vinyl onto my windows. But spoiler alert, it looks really good, but I did not buy enough. So I'll have to buy more in the future of the right size. I love that this adds more privacy, but also makes it look so pretty when the little light I do get streams in. And then it's time for the finishing touches of the room, including styling this little plant stand. I'm decorating this little corner with more fan art from my favorite animes and artists. Look at little Totoro and his log, so cute. And this jewelry burrow box I decided not to use for jewelry. Instead, I'm going to store perfumes and some other nice makeups in there and then lastly i did get this lamp from goodwill that provides very much needed lighting but it has this hollow box so i decided to take some preserved moss and glue it all around to make it look like a terrarium and then add in some pokemon figurines and then all we gotta do is make our bed and then we're ready for the final reveal
all. So voiceover Lynn is jumping in one last time to say thank you so much. If you made it this far, I love you because I appreciate all the time and space y'all have given me to slowly make my home a home. And I hope that we can take away some inspiration, some fun, some laughter, but also know that transformation is not something that happens instantaneously. It comes with time. And I know that I have so much more to add to this room and I can't wait to share the rest of it with y'all. And so if y'all would like, remember that you can also check out the link buds s in my description and i hope that we are all able to find a space that we feel comfortable that we are ready to grow in and good luck to everyone starting the new school year i know a lot of y'all going to college and i'm so proud and without further ado i'm gonna sign off so see y'all in the next one bye